Okay, today is uh, Saturday, 9-21. I've just completed my test of the uh, Magnum PAE 4448. And I got this unit from Boat and RV Accessories. I've purchased several items from this company. Uh, this is where my first Go Power Inverter came from. They're on eBay and Amazon, or you can get to them direct. So I ordered this unit, obviously brand new, and when it came from UPS, I noticed the box was pretty banged up. Uh, you can see a little scuffing here. It appears somebody had this, mounted it up on the wall, and for whatever reason, I don't know, they sent it back to them. And uh, apparently it got put in the wrong place, and they sent it to me, which is cool. Uh, all week long I've been getting the wrong components in and sending them back and what a nightmare. I ended up buying everything from this company finally. The panel, the router, everything to hook it all up. That should be here Tuesday or Wednesday. Called the company, told them what I dealt with here on the product. As you can see it's a uh, 2 of 19. Other than that it looks brand new. I don't know what happened. Anyway, I just tested it. I got everything in the house running, AC's running. Uh, did the well pumps hooked up in this 20 amp breaker now. I just got this 12 gauge wire just to test it. And this is all coming out. But uh, it powered up the well pump, AC, all the lights, did everything. I have the uh, plug running over here, powered it into the generator for my grid mode. It switched on and off, did everything the way it was supposed to do it. And when you open up the book, there's all your functionality tests, everything it tells you to do, and it did everything. So, very happy. It gave me almost 300 bucks off that inverter, that was amazing. So anyway, there it is, she's hooked up, blinking, it's running, power in the shop as we speak. So now I'm going to disconnect it. I have this bank here hooked up 48 volts. It's isolated from everything else, and all my other batteries are still hooked up 24. So I'm going to shut this down, disconnect it, take the uh, bus bars out, hook it back up to 24 volts, redo my electrical, which my 120 comes out of the Samlex through this cable, goes into this 30 amp breaker box, I even took the fuse out, and here's my hot wire that goes in both sides of the uh, power panel. So I got to take this breaker back out because this inverter is only 120 volts in it, unless I turn this switch on and then this turns on this big transformer. And I'll show you over here what I've done. I've got two plugs now. This plug here comes off the transformer and now this pump here will come off the uh, MagnaSign. That, that'll come on with the uh, 30 amp breaker right out of the box, 220. So that's all working. I just pumped up my water. So very cool, everything's working. Now I just have to wait for the rest of the parts. And once again, I got that from Boat and RV Accessories. They're a great company to deal with. You could, they actually have a phone number. They'll pick up the phone, they'll talk to you, and they'll make sure you're happy. So I had 30 days to test this inverter, and I've had it now about 12, 15 days. I just haven't had time. So that's the update. I do have the MagnaSign 4448, 120, 240 inverter works great. You can see the little green button, green light back here blinking. I've got all the rest of the stuff to put in here, but I won't do that till I do the panel. And then I'll take all this stuff on the wall down. I'll hook up the two charge controllers into the panel, get rid of all these battery switches, all this, these boxes, all that stuff will disappear and it'll be a nice neat installation and it'll be up to code. Because uh, 